Week 29, Insects, Day 1, Monday. Hi everyone! Hi Sugar! Guys, this week we are going to learn about insects. Don't forget to watch the video and do your activities. Let's, Let's go, go work. work! Okay guys, today we're going to learn about insects. Let's see. Insects, the largest group of arthropods. There are many, many different kinds of insects, more kinds than all the other animals in the world combined. Wow, that means there are a lot. Let's see. Wow, look at these pictures in this book. You probably remember that adult insects have six legs and three body parts. But did you know that insects also have two antennae at the top of the head? Sometimes antennae are called feelers, but they can do more than feel. Insects use their antennae to smell and taste too. Wow, that's amazing. Look at these pictures. Look at the antennae here. This is our pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa. Can you guess how many eyes this insect has? No, it doesn't have just two. This insect has thousands of eyes. Each of the big eyes you see in this picture is made up of thousands of tiny eyes. With these eyes, this insect can see things that move really, really, really fast. Yes, that's right, Backpack Bear. Insects have clever ways to protect themselves from predators. Some are poisonous, others sting, must hop, crawl, or fly away. Many insects have Excellent camouflage. Can you find the insects hiding in the pictures below? Yes, I can see here. One is on the leaf. What do you think will happen if a predator tries to eat this insect? Ooh, I think they're going to get hurt. A few kind of insects, such as honeybees, live in a colony. These insects work together to find food, build shelters, and take care of their babies. They help each other. Honeybees and some other insects do a very important job. They carry pollen from flower to flower. If they did do not do this work, plants will not grow and life on our planet will not survive. They are very important insects. Now let's see here the metamorphosis of a monarch butterfly. They start being in a little teeny tiny eggs in a leaf. Then there are caterpillars that we already know them. After a while, Caterpillar shedding its skin and becoming a chrysalis. Now, this is a chrysalis. Caterpillar is inside sleeping for a while. Then, after a few days, butterfly emerging from the chrysalis. Can you see here? And then we have a beautiful monarch butterfly. Almost all female insects lay eggs. Some hatch into worm-like babies called larvae. The larvae do not look like their parents. Their bodies change as they become adults. This transformation is called metamorphosis. And this caterpillar is a baby monarch butterfly. Yes, that's right. It's yellow and black.
Insects are the largest group of animals in our planet. They can be found flying in the air, crawling above or on the ground, and even swimming in the water. They are unusual and beautiful animals. The end. Now label the parts of the insect using the word bank words. Story time. Bug in a jug. By Starfall. Help! Bug is in a jug. I will help, says Zag. Zag cannot help Bug. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Zag adds to the jug. Bug is up. Thank you. You're welcome. Word shapes. Write the words from the box into the blanks. Read them. Then practice writing them on the lines below. Do you really like the bugs and insects? Because I love them. I know, guys, you're doing a super great job.